Tuesday the 5th of December and it's practically tropical in Chorley compared to how it's been over the last week or so. Little bit damp but we don't mind that at all. Up at the unit getting to pick some orders but before we do let's see what's behind door number five. The excitement of this duck advent calendar is just defies all logic. Door number five. Here we go. Put up a bit of a fight this one. <laughs> Yes, it's another naked duck, but a tiny one this time. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> it's only hilarious in the fact that it's so shit. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to the six now. My word. <laughs> Welcome back to my kingdom of tats. Let's see what's gone out over the last 24 hours. Uh, eight sales for a total order value of £243.80. Let's pick... I'm a little bit disappointed about this first sale, actually. 3E. Because you might have seen this in the thumbnail from a recent video. It's that Gladwin Bond hat. Paid £5 for it and it's been sold on offer for £27.85. Now, it's only been listed five days, which may sound to some people like it's quite early to be sending offers out, but I send offers out religiously. As soon as the option becomes available on the app, I send an offer out of at least 5%. Uh, if it's only just been listed, then I'll only send an offer out for 5%. I think it was about six and I sent a few offers out all at the same time. I think it was about six percent on that though. 5B1, another White Dwarf magazine, issue 207. Okay, kill, okay. Oh, it's on top as well. That's lovely. I see these magazines have been really great news. So I won't repeat the thing I said yesterday when one sold, but uh, they owe me less than a pound each. And that one has sold for £7.90. <laughs> I did the same thing yesterday. It gave me a little bit of a chuckle list. These uh, maxi skirts, the last one of about 200 uh, I had as sold. I was getting so sick of the sight of these. I must have given about 30 of them away. And this is the very last one. Uh, like I said yesterday, they owe me £2 and that's going out for £13.99. This was a great sale. I say great sale. I had to put quite a bit of effort into this uh, because the charity shop pulled the wool a little bit. It's a reversible Helly Hansen down puffer jacket. Really nice jacket. When I picked it up, it was the other side, which is blue. Let me just see it, show you the pictures. So when I picked it up, it was, I think it was on a mannequin. It was the blue side. And yeah, there's some of the decals you can zoom in on the edit. Some of the decals on the badge are sort of like a bit bitty, but because it was a down jacket, uh, I, I could live with that. On the back, it was much the same. The back looked all right, apart from one end of the H in heli. But again, still a good deal for a down jacket. I think I paid £15 for that. So I didn't actually check the inside, which is yellow, which is the one that I wanted for the main picture. That's the main picture, because that looked properly cool. But what they didn't, what I didn't see, and this is my fault, not the charity shops, was the fact that just on this, over this bottom corner here on the front panel, it would look like it had been sprayed with car, a, a dirty engine oil. It was absolutely minging. I priced up getting it dry cleaned and Timpson said, probably cost you about 40, 50 quid and there's no guarantee of getting the stain out. So I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. I, I wouldn't sell it in that condition. So I thought I'd give it a go at cleaning it myself. It took two cycles through the washing machine and dryer with quite a bit of stain remover. It wasn't completely, uh, you could still see little tiny bits of dark where the oil had, but it was hundred, almost 100% better than it was. Anyway, it was worth the effort because this, uh, in, in pristine condition, this jacket would probably be around about the 80 to 90 pound mark obviously i listed I, I mentioned the marks and whatnot that were that remained in the listing and it has sold for 54.99 for d2 for d2 
nicely to hand. Very nice jacket that. Some more straightener. £40 paid, sold for £69.99, 4B2. Now this is a really strange one. I've had, I, I bought these jumpsuits. So they're not jumpsuits, they're like retro ski suits. I got eight of them for 40 quid from Strawberry Fields um, in mid-season. Some of them sold pretty quick. I think I've only got maybe two left now. But this is sold on offer. And for the life of me, I don't remember sending the offer out. I don't know what's going on there. I really don't. Because I had it listed for $27.99. The cost price, like I say, was £5. And the sale price is $26.59. But I, I genuinely don't remember sending an offer out on it. I mean, I'm not really fussed, to be fair. But I'm only fussed. I'm, I'm, I'm not well, I say, I say I'm not fussed. I'm not fussed because the, the, the difference in value is negligible. I'm just actually quite fussed that it's happened at all. It might be me having a granddad moment and not remembering sending the offer out but i genuinely don't <laughs> so that's in 5a1 Beanie hat, 6C1. To make sure it's the right one, I need a black. Yep, oh, that's a black. There's the navy blue mountain equipment hats I've got of this style. Look very much black. Uh, mountain equipment paid £4 for that and it has sold for £17.50. And last, I'm quite surprised these have told, uh, taken so long to sell actually. NPS Leather Brokes. NPS is a great brand of like dress shoes. Bin 9. Paid £5 and they've gone out for £24.99. One thing I didn't take into consideration is by the time I get up to the post office after two o'clock, it's absolutely heaving. Normally when I do my posting on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday mornings, I get there about lunchtime and it's quite quiet. But this time of year and in the afternoons, my word, I'm having to spend some time waiting in a queue. <laughs> Oh, so it's a nice problem to have, at least I'm making the sales. That's all the orders picked. Anyway, let's get these password up and out the door. Just as coincidence would have it, it's now 12 minutes to two o'clock and two o'clock's the deadline. And I've just had a sale come through of another one of those uh, Warhammer magazines. <laughs> so let's go and get that. I I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to go and get it and stick it in the trolley. Suffice to say, like I say, I think actually on the listing I put a cost price of £1 but they were less than that and this one has gone out for £7.20 it's a Malifaux Storm of Shadows rule book and it looks like that I've wrapped the video up there if you found any value at all please give it a thumbs up keep your fingers crossed for me for the next 24 hours for a storming sell so the videos won't be getting shorter I want nice long videos when they're picking videos because that means I've sold a lot as always, lovely people, thank you very much indeed for watching. Until tomorrow, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. I'll see you then.